So I want to do a little video about events here. Uh, I've set myself up, I've got a player character, a uh, lizard male, and I've set him up with the platformer um, character behavior so he can run around and he's controlled by the keys. Um, and I've set myself up with a couple of floors. So these are set up with the platform floor behavior. Um, so what happens now is when I hit play, I can take my character and run around. Um, I don't think it looks as good as it could at the moment. Um, we'll see in a moment. For one, my character is always facing right. So when I go left or right, it's always facing right. I think we can do better. And annoyingly, when I hit the up arrow, it doesn't jump. I have to do space to jump. I want to do space to jump. So let's fix these things. I'm going to do it in the event screen. So I'm in my, I called this uh, scene main. I changed it from untitled scene or whatever it was. And in the events, I've got nothing at the moment, which I'd like to change. So I can click on add a new event and add a condition. There are two tabs here. The objects, we can have condition that's directly attached to an object. Uh, we do that a lot. Uh, but in this case, I want to look at the other conditions which is uh, there's th useful stuff like things that happen that the user does like for example touching the keyboard so I can say when a particular key is pressed uh, so in my case I'm going to make it when the left key is pressed so the left key is what's making my character move left but I'm also going to make it force my character to look left so the action is going to be that my lizard male is going to and I <laughs> I've spent some time in these screens, so I'm reasonably familiar with the kind of things that are in here. It's a bit daunting when you're first here, but you do work it out quite quickly. Flip the object horizontally, a little picture shows you it's going to flip it. I'm going to flip it that way, so click yes. Uh, we can do a preview just to check that that works, always a good idea, test, test what you're doing as you go along. So um, to begin with, it is facing right, yep still facing right and then I hit the left key and it's facing left but then I hit the right key and it's not facing right again so I'm actually just going to I could just do exactly the same thing again add a new condition right key is pressed flip horizontally back to no uh, I'm gonna actually just copy and paste so if I click there go control C control V it gives me the whole thing again and then I can edit it in place just being efficient hey eh? nice to be efficient and right key is pressed, activate flipping no. So now when I press the right key, I'll go back to facing right. When I hit the left key, I'll go to facing left. I also want to do um, add a new event that when the up key is pressed, so back again back into other conditions, keyboard, key pressed, and the key is up, it's in the list, yeah, up. Um, I'm going to make my lizard mail lizard male is going to this because it's a platformer um, it's got a bunch of um, options in this list that relate specifically to being a platformer character uh, so I'm going to do simulate jump key press okay uh, these tutorials are good I should mention that so now uh, as well as the space car uh, space key will still work but the up key will, will do jump as well which is actually much better it feels great and uh, in the interest of keeping this short video short, I'm going to do one more thing without uh, running that. Um, it's to do with the animations. So this little guy here, uh, because I imported him from the asset store, he's got a bunch of animations. He's got one called Hit, not quite sure what that looks like when you have been here, I guess. One called Idle, which is fairly normal, just an idle animation, and one called Run, so a run animation. So what I want to do is I want him to be running when he's moving and idle when he's not. Uh, now, triggering of animations is relatively, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of subtleties to it, but we're just going like, to try and do the simplest thing that works. So up here, I've got is moving. So I'm going to go is moving, um, click OK. And the action is going to be, if my lizard male is moving, my lizard male is going to, uh, somewhere down here is animation. And animations, change the animation. I choose to do it by name and actually tells me which ones I've got, I'm going to choose run when he's moving. Okay, click OK. And so I've now got, when the lizard male is moving, set animation to run. And the thing is, that's not going to turn it off when I'm not moving. 
It's just get, that's just a trigger that sets an animation at that moment that it finds it's moving. So I'm going to actually do that Control C, Control V thing again, and then I'm going to invert this. So this now becomes when it's not moving. That little red thing means the opposite. So when little man is moving, not set animation to, and then I'm going to choose um, idle. Idle. Right, so let's see what all of that looks like now. We've done all of that. Um, it look a little bit more polished, I feel. So yeah, I'm going right. You can see I've got that run animation and arrow key makes me jump. Now moving is also, uh, when I jump, it also does run as well. Um, quite sure I love the way the jump is working at the moment. It seems to... Uh, Right. It needs a little bit of work still, but I think it's an improvement. I think it's cooler than it was, right? So hopefully you'll be able to do the same.